greetings to our Seattle Baptist Church members. And uh, it's good to come to you today uh, via the computer. And uh, miss several of our folks here the last few weeks. Uh, to our older people, thank you for staying in and being safe. Uh, our folks who have compromised immune systems, thank you for staying inside. I, I know you'd love to be here. I know you want to be. I know many of our folks want to. Uh, some of our families uh, have just decided it would be best if they did not attend. And, uh, you know, we just want you to know we love you. Thank God for you. Praying for you. And uh, these are just, uh, you know, different different kind of days. I, I did want you to know about last Sunday's results. We didn't have near what we usually have, but we had 126 people. We had seven first-time visitors and a young couple that had gotten saved just a few weeks ago. We were able to baptize them. It was a great spirit at church, and you could tell the Lord was with us. And uh, we wish that uh, many of you were there. Uh, we wish we all could be together, uh, and we will be uh, uh, in the days ahead. And we're going through a trial right now nationally, locally, financially, spiritually, and some physically. Uh, stress levels, uh, some say, are very high. And uh, you and I as God's people, we need God's strength. Our certainties as believers far outweigh our uncertain times. I preached this past Sunday from James chapter 1 where it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. God is working on us in the trials. There's no doubt about that. Patience is not probably our favorite word. But we need to realize that God's working. He's maturing us as we draw nigh to him in the trials. Trials. He's completing us. Uh, he's equipping us. And we need wisdom. That comes from above. We need faith. We need to trust the Lord. Uh, we need uh, single-mindedness as a people and as individuals always remembering to bring glory and honor to our Lord. Let patience have her perfect work. I trust all of Seattle Baptist Church desires to do just that. Things are changing all around us. Uh, it seems like it's hour by hour. That's how comforting it is to know Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. I want you to know that we go online beginning tomorrow night at uh, 7 o'clock, March the 18th. Uh, we'll be online Sunday morning at 11 a.m., Sunday night at 6 p.m. I encourage us all to keep this schedule faithfully. Uh, let's all gather together and and listen to our pulpit ministry. We, we need that. All of us need the pulpit ministry. As you gather, gather at those times. Have your Bibles out. Alleviate um, uh, all interruptions. Let's worship together. I, I wish we could be together physically, uh, but for the personal safety of our people. I believe God is leading us to do this for a, for a space of time. This will be our schedule through April the 1st. Now we're, we're going to have our regular soul winning on Saturday mornings at 10.30 a.m. There at the soul winning time, I'll give a devotional. We'll have prayer together. And then we'll go out and we'll share the gospel with people. I was out this past week and was received very well. Uh, people were glad to see us. They were glad for somebody to come to their door and pray with them. The fact is, I had an opportunity to lead one dear lady to Christ. I want you to know we are going to be 
calling on our church membership every week. We're going to be calling on the phone. We care about you. We love you. We desire to touch base with you, see how you're doing. Let me encourage you that if you have prayer request or a need, please call the office or email us. If you go to the hospital, please let us know so we can come and visit you. We have some new tracks that we've printed up, of course, with the plan of salvation on it, but to invite people to our website uh, for our website services. Uh, not only that, but for day-to-day -day encouragement that we'll be talking about here in just a minute. As far as giving goes, we have many needs at the church. Uh, last Sunday's offering was uh, very difficult. Uh, and we need God's people to rally. And uh, we need to still have a heart to give to our Lord. Uh, you can give online. Uh, we have that capacity now. Uh, you can call the office and bring uh, your offering by. Um, also, uh, you can mail in your offering through the mail. We're going to begin starting Monday three to five minute day by day devotional of encouragement Monday through Fridays um, you know when discouraging times come uh, we need to offset that if you please with the word of God an encouraging word from your church to keep on keeping on for the Lord let's let's pray one for another that's a Bible command. Maybe you have phone numbers of church members. Would you call them to see how they're doing so they can hear from another church member? Check on each other. Maybe you live close by uh, to two or three church members. Stay in contact. Let's care one for another. A Seattle Baptist Church will continue to be a lighthouse in our community and a comfort and encouragement to God's people. We thank the Lord for our church. We thank the Lord for the privilege and opportunity to minister in this great area. We're going through a, a difficult time now. And um, God's going to see us through. And God's going to do a mighty work through us as we are faithful to him. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow night, uh, 7 o'clock service. Also, we're going to be providing an, another video uh, very soon. Uh, Brother Jordan will be telling you and explain to you how to um, give online. And I think that will be quite helpful. So uh, looking forward to the days ahead. I'm not depressed. I'm not discouraged. I'm encouraged. I believe the Lord is expanding our ministry through this. And uh, we're praying that God will bring health uh, to our nation and that uh, we will uh, uh, rise up uh, greater as a church than ever before to serve the Lord. I love you. God bless you.